24 days of Lips and Sips, day 20. Hi everybody, day 20. <laughs> Although I love doing these. Hey, it's getting me, it's getting to me, it's getting to me. But maybe I should be getting better, <laughs> but I doubt it. Anyhow, day 20 and I had to stop and think for a moment. When I looked at the T and I looked at the lip, I'm like, deja vu? <laughs> because day 16, I, we had canes in the next lip. And today we have canes. But the difference is, day 16, it was a soft matte metallic. And today it's a canes, and I have a rubber band on the top of it so I don't get them mixed up because my eyes are bad. But today, the 20th, we have a soft matte lip cream without the metallic to it. So, okay, all right, it's all right, all's good. But that's not to say they won't give me a duplicate. So far, I haven't ran into anything like that until today, which I was like, uh-oh, another one? I'll save this one and maybe gift it to somebody. But no, they are different, so I am going to swatch it. But as far as the David's tea, it was a chai, was it a chai? Yeah, it was a chai, a s'mores chai on the 16th, which tasted real chocolatey to me. So, you know, wait and, let's wait and see. Let me not, you know, put the cart before the horse, as they say. So let's give a swatch to this uh, lippy here. Again, it is the NYX soft matte lip cream without the metallic Julia in canes so I'm expecting I'm gonna swatch them side by side so let's do the today's the 20th so let's do this one here let me get my viewfinder because I want to be in focus in frame I say so here it is hey that's going on almost like a matte to me I mean a metallic so this one is the lip cream and it's a mat. Let's reach over here, it's on the bottom, and get the soft matte canes in metallic. Okay, here it goes. Remember, one's on the bottom, this one's on top. Okay, okay, they're different. We can, we can uh, settle that right now. You see the difference? Yeah, quite a difference. Okay, side by side. Which do you like best? Let me know down in the comments. Do you like the one on the top with the metallic or the canes on the bottom? So let me know which one you like best of all. They're both mattes. The top it has some metallic so it's going to have more sheen to it than the one on the bottom. But they look like two different colors totally to me. There you have it with the lips today. And let's get into our tea. Gosh, did I even scoop it out? No, I didn't. See, see, see what this does to you? Let me go get my steeper. <laughs> Dropping some of it. Okay, so let's take a look at our tea. Let's put the steeper while you can see it. Okay, so day 20, the tea is hot chocolate. Now, didn't I tell you? It just thought me, made me think of day 16 when it was a um, s'mores chai, and I thought that tastes like hot chocolate. So let's see where we are with this one. Let me get my perfect spoon. Guys, I'm all over the place today. Did too much. I went to see a girlfriend who's about an hour away to take her gift. The traffic was ugh. and there were accidents and there were all kinds of things on the road and then I had to come back and make donations go through bags and bags of stuff and decide what to donate that's a lot of tea let's see that's one perfect spoon full and this tea has did I see coke oh yes I see little uh, ch chocolate chips in here. There's a chocolate chip. What else? 
What else is in there? Can't make that out, but I bet those T's unfold like something else. Let's read it. Very, very much like chocolate, like a milk chocolate, it smells. So, the ingredients. So this is a puree tea, and it says here that it has both. The Pierre tea and Pierre tea, I should say, and black tea, cocoa nibs, chocolate chips, which we saw, chocolate liquor, cocoa butter, soy lecithin, vanilla, chocolate curls, sugar, cocoa butter, whole milk powder, chocolate liquor whey powder, lactose, soy lecithin, I can never get that right, blah, 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 blah. tongue gets in the way. Vanilla stevia extract, natural and artificial flavors. It contains milk and soy. Okay, so you know if you're allergic to those things, you've got to stay away from this one. But um, most cocos are like that. I'm sure they're making some that are not now. So it says one to two perfect spoonfuls in about 16 ounces of water at 200 degrees Fahrenheit and you're going to steep it four to five minutes and it's loaded with caffeine. I need that now. I need some caffeine because I'm going down here fast and I've got loads more to do. So let's scoop up. No, let's don't even scoop it. Let's just chunk it all in there because I want all of it. And I'll go over here and get my hot water. So what are you guys doing now that it's towards the end of the year? You know, I try to make sure I get all my donations in for um, the tax write-off. And uh, so that's one of the things I say to the end of the year, which I usually don't. I'm usually quite good about getting that done during the year. But I uh, had a whole bunch of stuff that I just kind of chucked away and didn't do anything about. So that left me to now trying to get it out of the way. And uh, along with other things I have to do. You know, I'm thinking I want a little more of that in there. And this might be one tea. If this cocoa is um, bitter, then I may put some sweetener in it. But it says it has stevia and it had um, it has sugar chocolate liqueur in it. Oh gosh, I just hope this tea does not upset my stomach because I think I have a I'm lactose intolerance, I know that. But I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to do this for you guys. See? I'm going to do it. So it's supposed to be, it says it's hot chocolate, and it says it's rich, fudgy, and indulgent. Mmm. High caffeine. This just sounds like me right here in a package. I might have to go to the shop. I said yesterday I was going to go. Maybe Sunday I'll get up early enough and get into Davis tea and pick that up if I like it, plus what my husband wants. So, hmm, I have to get out there because now that I've been drinking so much tea, I have not set up a coffee, tea, hot chocolate station. I've just been using this space to film. So, um, yeah, I might need some of that. But I don't think I have any cocoa in the house. So I am looking forward to that. Okay, the mug of today is a mug that I thought I bought from Pier 1. But when I washed it out, on the bottom it says, exclusively from Macy's, it's a Martha Stewart collection. So maybe I, that's where I got it. Who knows? I have so many mugs and so many dishes. And, oh, but I've been trying to get rid of those too. I've been donating and uh, trying to get rid of some of these mugs around here and dishes. So anyway, I can't remember where I got it, but if it says Macy's, I guess that's where it came from. No guessing about it. I guess that's where it, it is where it came from, Julia. Okay, I didn't put the timer off. But we're going to just know when it's ready. So this tea does not have any health benefits at all. There are no herbs or anything that's um, good for you in it. It's just a pure, like it says here. It says, what, indulgent tea? That's what it is. It's a rich, fudgy, indulgent tea. There are no flowers with health benefits or any herbs or anything in here. Nothing but the poor air tea and the black tea you're getting, but you're getting so much chocolatey 
creamy, indulgent things that we all love around this time of the year that who cares, right? Who cares? Yeah, you guys tell me. Now look how that's dried down. Do they look much different to you? Does one have a sheen whereas the other one doesn't? Does one look more matte than the other? Which one would you wear? I'm thinking the bottom one. I'm thinking that one looks better on my skin tone. More neutral looking than the top. But uh, like I always say, put on a, for me and my tone, put on a brown liner and you know, there you go. You got it made. So uh, let me check again, because I think this says five minutes or more. Well, four to five minutes. Okay, we might be ready. Oh, and I have a tea towel here that says Merry Christmas, y'all. And yesterday, I forgot to mention, I had a buffalo print red and black tea towel, and I have it here. I forgot to mention that uh, it says, it has snowflakes on it because it was frosty too yesterday, and that's why I used it, but it says, the most wonderful time of the year. And that's my quote for this series of videos. 2019, Lips and Sips, the most wonderful time of the year. And uh, so there we are with that. It's looking pretty dark. I think we better go ahead and try it before it gets, well, it's not that dark. Yeah, it's not that dark. Let's try a little bit. Not all of it. Because it might not be ready. Let's give it a snip. Yes, I smell chocolate. Yes, and uh, take a look at it. And I forgot to mention, the reason why I pull these mugs out is because these are the mugs, or did I say it? I don't know. But these are the mugs we use usually every Christmas and we have our hot chocolate out of, so. Yeah, my son came over. He would be expecting this mug to be out. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. It is good, but you know what? It's the way I don't like my hot chocolate. It's not rich enough. It's not creamy enough. You know when you get hot chocolate and, it, and it's supposed to be made with milk and you make it with water? Mm-hmm. That's what that is. When I drink hot chocolate, I want it thick and creamy and I want bunch of, a bunch of marshmallows in it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to doctor this one up. But it does smell like hot chocolate. It does taste like a very weak hot chocolate. So there you have it. I'll let it steep some more and um, add that to it. And then maybe I'll um, get some marshmallows out or something like that and put in it. Let's see if we have any. I don't know. But yeah, I think, I think for me, the s'mores chai is much more richer and more, much more tasting, uh, much more flavorful and just embodies hot chocolate more than this does. So um, yeah, I would pass on this one as far as a hot chocolate. I would stick with the s'mores chai. I think that just is much richer, much more t uh, layered and just more indicative of indulgent to me than this one. But maybe I haven't steeped it long enough, so you know, I'll give it a I'll give it a try. I'll try to doctor it up. Yeah, very weak to me. So maybe it's uh, my brewing. I haven't brewed it long enough. But there you have it. Lip of the day for day twenty is Canes and in a mat, soft mat, on the bottom, and it does look like a soft mat. And the uh, sip for today is David's Tea in chocolate, hot chocolate. And uh, you'll have to try that one out for yourself. I can't help you there because I didn't brew it long enough, I don't think. Or it's just it's too weak tasting to me. So, yeah, have a great day. I'll see you back on tomorrow for day 21, which generally, if I'm not mistaken, is the first day of winter. So, Soltis, we have a mug for that. So, I'll Stay tuned for that so you can see the mug for the first day of winter. 
Okay, you all, have a great day. And remember to enter the giveaway. Subscribe, hit the bell, like, and comment. Alrighty, bye-bye.